Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Iconic Masters and what could make Iconic Masters very good. So Iconic Masters is a set. It's going to cost $10 a booster pack. That is very expensive and the value to be able to sell a $10 pack is very difficult today. Even with Lily, Snap, Goblin Guide. Lots of really good on commons and the enemy Zendikar fetch lands. You still don't get to, as well as Blood Moon, Damnation, the list can go on. You still don't get to the MSRP of $240 a box, meaning each pack is not worth $10. So should Wizards of the Coast want to get to MSRP with Iconic Masters? And I really believe they will want to do that because they have two sets. Eternal Masters, which was selling for $170, $170 a box at one time after the second print run. And Modern Masters, which we don't have, I don't believe there has been a second print run because the first print run, there's enough of that. Interesting facts about Iconic Masters. Will not, will not have reserve list cards. And there's not that many cards if you assume Iconic Masters will be different from Eternal, which is Legacy, as well as Modern, which is Modern, and this will have things that are iconic in nature, I can't think of something more valuable or more iconic than these lands. Now, could they be like Mythics and stuff? Yeah, sure, make them all Mythics. Make them Expeditions. Whatever you want to do with them. But the prices of these cards have gotten out of control. Like, absolutely out of control. I was actually looking to pick up an island as a go. I wonder how much it goes for nowadays. And it's $350. So, just to let you know, I have all I have all five minus the island. So, I actually only have four. And the island is the most expensive one. Therefore, it was always the hardest one for me to pick up because I could never justify the price. There are people who really want these lands and it is almost impossible to make an ED8 stack with just these lands because when these lands cost anywhere between $200 to $400 a piece, accumulating quite, you know, accumulating a lot of them is difficult. And I feel like this is the type of product that is iconic and very low supply, high demand, and the price is just outrageous for what they are. Now, maybe they're, they do not reprint with this exact artwork, but I'm sure they can commission with new artwork and very similar to the Judge versions of the land, they can just make Judge versions of these lands. Now, I know what a lot of you may be saying is, oh, well, if you make too many of these or you reprint these, so these are not reserve list cards. These are just the most basic lands. What is more iconic than basic lands in Magic? This is the probably the first cards ever invented were lands. And it's in Alpha, it's in every single set in Magic's history. It is iconic. Can we get a very nice pimp version? Now, it might not be the Guru version, but it could be very beautiful. You could have the same artist, Teresa Nielsen, Nelson, Nielsen, do a limited set, make them all make mythics or make them one per case, you know, cases being four boxes now. And that's how you would sell your product. That's how you get to the iconic status. And that's how you're going to get reach your MSRP of $240. What is, what I believe iconic masters will be, and this is my speculation. They have to go back to the original Modern Masters model, where the booster packs are selling like hotcakes, people cannot get enough of them. They're just you know gobbling up as much of this product as they can, because if they do not go back to that model, they've left a very bad aftertaste in the Masters versions. If you think about it, Eternal Masters, people bought boxes and they held on to these boxes and they became $320 one day. And then the next day they were reprinted and they became 170. That is not really good for a store. A store is not going to be happy or delighted that they're now sitting on boxes they cannot move and they put a lot of cash assets in it. 
So a lot of the cash flow is tied to Eternal Masters, which is a disaster, right? Now, Modern Masters. So Modern Masters is really interesting because Modern Masters 2017 was every single card I could have dreamed and hoped and they even had Damnation, yet it still tanked. Uh, we mean, I mean tanked in terms of versus MSRP. The original Modern Masters was $7 a pack, but packs were going for $12 to $14. And no one could buy these packs even at that price. People were actually drafting at that. There was initial hype that can probably never be recreated again. But if they want to drive this product, the other issue of Iconic Masters is it's in the same year as Modern Masters. And same year as Commander. Same year as Anthologies Reaper. No, what was that? Yeah, Anthologies. Same year as Arc Enemy. There's too much stuff. Products, right? This product needs to be great. It needs to be amazing. And when I look at the list of cards that might be there um, from Imperial, essentially it's Portal Free Kingdom cards because <laughs> they reprinted everything else. And you have Imperial Seal, you have Zodiac Dragon. I personally don't believe they're going to print those cards just for the fact that uh, it's just, I mean, they printed Mana Vault, which was an interesting one, right? In Eternal Masters, as well as Jace the Mind Sculptor. They're not unwilling to print great cards. The cards I want to see in Iconic Masters are the Guru Lands. There's no other card I want to see because at most, I don't know people who can make a whole deck from this. Like that's the lands I want to use when I draft. That's the lands I want to use in my EDH stack. That's the lands I think are, in my opinion, artistically one of the most beautiful lands and people don't have access to it. Like, yes, it sucks for collectors who have this card. And yes, I own, I own plains, swamp, forest, mountain. And, you know, I wouldn't be okay with buying an island should I find a good enough deal on it, right? Like I was always shocked to see the prices on these cards. And it's not like they haven't done something like this before with the judge promos. They give every judge a packet of five lands, five foil lands, and each of those lands were a hundred plus dollars because they were beautiful and they were great. And that's what they should be doing as iconic. There is no more, what card is more iconic than the five basic lands? They probably were the f first five cards invented by Richard Garfield. I would be surprised if they were not because this whole game is based on lands, right? And then we can't, we can't get dual lands, obviously. So why not go with the next best thing? Extremely pimp, extremely valuable, extremely unique lands. That is what I'm hoping I, is in Iconic Masters. Guru lands would be fantastic because then I could get multiple play sets of them and feel like complete as a collector. Uh, I could finally like afford an island, I guess. But it could be something like Judge Lands. It could be something uh, even newer. It could be, hey, let's, let's uh, commission someone who's a really famous artist in the Magic community to do five more lands, and these lands will be super mythics, and that's it. Like, if, if that was the case then I would love that because then at least there's more supply, there's more stock, there's the opportunity to finally complete a, pay, a play set from opening them. And I hope the lands, I don't hope that they're $100, I hope that just like kind of a okay mythic, like the Zendikar Fetch lands, they eventually go down to $40 or $50, and that's good because a person can open it, feel good about paying $10 a pack, feel good about opening a box at MSRP 240 and that's what I want to see. I think it's going to happen. My prediction will be that the five card, the five cards in this set, is, I know it's a bold prediction, right? Will be five basic lands. But my upside in this prediction would be they're going to be unique lands. What is more iconic than the five basic lands that we started Magic with? Everyone remembers playing them without sleeves at your uh, kitchen table. You would sleeve up some cards, and put they land you. Like I never sleeved up it. It kind of sounds ridiculous now that I think about it, but like you were not concerned about cheating because you're just playing, you don't know what's like good or bad. And you sleeve up all your cards that you think were valuable. And then you would not sleeve up your lands. And that wasn't a problem when I was younger. 
because who cheats when they're younger, right? Anyway, that's it, guys. Leave me a comment below if you agree, disagree about this prediction. We will see. Bye, guys.